Hello guys, I'm Chris from KM Programs and today I'm going to show you how to use Poco and Conan. Both of them are fabulous modern uh, tools that can um, make your application much more complex because you can, in simple way, include many, many external libraries. Poco is a powerful library which can um, give us uh, database communication, JWT um, strings, uh, parsers for JSON, XML, or even web applications. And Conan is a modern, amazing package manager for C++. Uh, so now you don't have to create um, complex CMake files on your own, but just use simple Conan uh, CLI instructions that can build all necessary stuff for CMake and then CMake will generate final version of your program. That's all. To use Conan, of course, you have to install on your machine. I'm not going to show you how to install Conan because the documentation is really simple and clear and um, I think you find there uh, all necessary steps to install Conan on your machine. Another tool you need install to work with that kind of project is, of course, CMake. I use CMake because it's a popular tool in C++ and for me it's, it's convenient. So we've got Conan, we've got CMake. What else? Of course, code, yes. I prepared uh, some code. It's really, really simple. Just um, Poco string library. So this is a library to process strings. Poco has got many libraries. This is only sample. And I use uh, trim left in my example. It, um, it will be only used to show us, um, to show us that uh, it all works, okay? So during uh, our courses, we will see how to use Poco for database communication, for uh, tests, for um, web applications. But now I only focus on running these applications and show you that Poco will be okay. So when we have got all that stuff and uh, all is ready to go, now I can just start use Conan CLI. First of all, I can type Conan search dash dash remote Conan Center. Conan Center. This line download from central Conan repository all necessary informations about available POCO version. So for a moment, we will see what versions of POCO can I download from Conan to our application. And now we can see all available versions for POCO. Next step, we can, for example, inspect, inspect POCO 1.10.1. It will give us all information about POCO components of POCO, um, configuration, license, version, URL of project, etc, etc. So when you read all of this and you are sure you, you would like to use that kind of library with that version, just create common file txt in your project and put in required section library with version you would like to use. In this file also, in this simple configuration, we need put name of generator we are going to use in future. So CMake, as I told you in... So now we've got special Conan file takes there. We've got our code. Uh, and the only thing I need to do at this moment is just Conan install. Sorry, one more step before doing this instruction we have to create mk, mkdir build directory, go into this directory, and now the only instruction I need to run is conan install dot dot. And it will look for conan file text, download, download all necessary informations, generate all necessary files, and now, as you see, we've got some stuff here in build directory. Another step is prepare CMake list takes that. In this file, which of course is standard CMake file, we have to um, place a C++ version, name of our application, but one important line is here. We have to tell uh, this file 
to use Conan built in for CMake. This file uh, lets CMake create all necessary stuff for for CMake, yes, for generate um, uh, generate um, generate final version of our project. So now I can use CMake dash dash, uh, sorry dot dot dash g, and here we've got the window. So Visual Studio 16. Of course, if you are on Linux or Mac, this value will be uh, different, but all necessary things are in documentation. It's really helpful, it's really simple, you don't have to care about this. Presenter, now your code, uh, now your project will be built, as you see. And let's build this into the final version. So CMake build dot dash dash config release. Hop. And that's all. Final version of your project uh, contains bin directory and here you can find app.exe. Let's go into bin, let's run app.exe and we've got our application. Simple. So thanks for Conan. Now I can include to my project many, many libraries. It's really plenty of libraries I can use in Conan. Thanks for Conan. OpenSSL, Boost, uh, Nolan, um, I don't know what else. As you see, it's quite, it's quite a um, big collection, but of course it's a, it's a quite new project. So I think in future, uh, much more libraries here uh, uh, will, be, will be present. So as you see, Conan is really powerful. Conan and um, maybe today I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not showing you um, POCO um, features, but uh, in our course we will uh, use POCO in many projects, so we will see uh, features of this uh, in practice. Uh, in description to this movie you will find the GitHub repository to my project, you will see uh, necessary URLs for Kona, for Poco, um, and of course URL for my website. So I invite you to see all my courses and for now that's all. Thank you and bye bye.